Hey rappers, what's good? In this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about the two most important places that you need to be posting your music. Hey, what's up? My name is Hitplay of hitplaybeats.com and my goal is to help provide rappers with the knowledge they're gonna need in order to turn their dreams into their careers. So if you're a serious rapper, make sure you go ahead and you hit that subscribe button down below and you click the notification bell to get notified every time I release a new video. Also, if you like any of the beats you hear in the background of this video, I'll have all the direct links listed to each of those beats in the description below. So I wanted to make this video because I keep running into rappers, whether it be at local events or at local studios or online. And like, there's this one commonality that I keep finding in everybody that I keep meeting. And I don't know if it's just the people that I'm meeting, cause I know that there's other artists that don't do this, but it's just the people that I keep running across. So I kind of wanted to address this. So I keep running into rappers that they're really talented. They have really good music, but they're only posting their music to SoundCloud. And while that's great, because I know it's a free platform, you can put your music up. And I know that there's this idea that you know if you just post enough music or you post music on soundcloud that you can blow up through soundcloud and while that's not entirely not true it's incredibly difficult because there's so many people doing that and there's so much music that's being posted to soundcloud every single day that you have to get really lucky like you literally have to be one in a million just to get that opportunity to be on that chart just so you can be exposed to so many people and so one of my biggest pet peeves as of recently is that hoping for that and hoping that you blow up isn't a strategy, right? It's not bad to dream and hope that that works out, but there's other stuff you can do in the meantime and that you should be doing in the meantime if you're serious about doing this as a career. So one of the other things that you need to be doing as an artist and like your main key objective is to have your music on as many different platforms that people can discover it on as possible. So if you're only posting your music to SoundCloud, you're limiting the amount of reach and potential fans that you can get on a daily and weekly basis. That also being said, a lot of people are not discovering new music on SoundCloud. A lot of people that I know that listen to hip hop and rap music on a regular basis don't even know what SoundCloud is and they didn't until I told them about it. However, these are the same people that come to me on a weekly, monthly basis that say, hey, have you heard that new song from so-and-so? And they're always finding new artists and new songs. And so I'm gonna tell you in this video the two places that I keep hearing everybody mention that they're finding new music. And those two places are YouTube and Spotify. So a lot of people find music through Spotify playlists because once a song reaches a certain point and it gets a certain amount of plays in a week, it gets thrown into certain playlists and people can discover it a lot easier. Not only that, you have other people sharing music, talking about it because it's in different playlists and they discovered it and they're showing their friends, right? That's just Spotify. On YouTube, it works a little bit differently where if a video or your music video or lyric video or remix video gets a certain amount of views and a certain amount of watch time within a certain amount of allotted time, then they'll start promoting it on the related or like um, recent release page or like the front page of YouTube where a lot of people would see it that are interested in hip hop music or remixes or whatever. It's because of these algorithms that are on both of these platforms that it's helping users find new music on a regular basis. And I wanted to let you guys know this because if you're not on these platforms yet, you're limiting the amount of reach that you have every single day. You're limiting the amount of potential fans and listens and plays that you can get every single day. Because with YouTube, as an example, like with basic SEO, which stands for search engine optimization, which is how you get videos to be searchable, right? With basic SEO skills, which you can literally Google, like you can search on YouTube and say, how do I rank a video? Or how do I get more views on YouTube? Or like, how do I do SEO for my videos? And you'll find a ton of things five, 10, 20, 30 minutes, you can go through, learn what you need to actually be doing to like start getting views and stuff on your video. On Spotify, it's a little trickier. You need to have an actual fan base and you need to get a certain amount of plays on a consistent basis so that you can start getting into Spotify playlists and have the algorithm on Spotify recommend your music to people. So even though Spotify is tricky in the beginning, you still need to have your music there because anything can happen. And I know a lot more people listen to music on Spotify on a regular basis, and they're gonna add your music to a playlist too if they like your song. So that means that you can get more and more plays every single month because they added your song to a playlist. And so if you don't have any of your music up on Spotify, I have a link in the description that will give you a discount to uh, DistroKid. It's like $20 for a year, but there's a certain percentage you get off when you click the link in the description. So you can go ahead and check that out if you don't have any music up already. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure you go ahead and you hit that like button down below. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, ideas for future videos, go ahead and drop that in the comment section below as well. And until next time, guys, here's some more videos.